I want to wish all of you a good day. Um, around the country on June 1st, uh, Christians, Muslims, and people of other faiths are going to be uh, uniting in a day of mourning and uh, lament, um, taking note of the 100,000 um, plus individuals who've lost their life to uh, the disease that is uh, pandemic among us. And so Helen and I were talking about a way to join with that. And so what we're offering today uh, is a meditation uh, for your consideration uh, and uh, a, a vehicle for you to join with people all over our country uh, to take, take a pause and to recognize uh, that a lot of people have died and are going to die uh, as a result of this disease. Uh, I'm going to offer a few words. Helen's going to offer a litany that was written by a Presbyterian minister uh, in another state. And then Jerry and Glenn and Judy are going to um, sing a, a text that was written by a Presbyterian minister to uh, the tune of uh, O Sacred Head Now Wounded. And then I will offer a prayer that I want to encourage you to use uh, tomorrow. Uh, you will receive from us in an email uh, essentially an order of service uh, that you could use uh, in a small group later in the week or uh, for yourself tomorrow uh, as, uh, as we, we honor the day. So hear these words. In the wake of World War I and the Spanish flu, the poet T.S. Eliot wrote a phrase, April is the cruelest month. Indeed, April and May have been a cruel time for us. The blooming of lilacs and poppies was mismatched at the world's grief. And so on this final weekend in May, our nation too passes, passes a grievous point in history. Over 100,000 Americans have died from COVID-19. Over this weekend, people of goodwill and people of faith, Christians, Muslims, Jews, and others, will not and cannot let this grim number pass unnoticed. It is always and everywhere the vocation of a religion to remember the dead and mourn their passing. We need to remember the words that are on a lot of communion tables around the world. Jesus says, do this in remembrance of me. And so we're going to uh, engage this in this act of lament and mourning as a way of remembering uh, those who we may know and those who we do not know who have lost their lives to this disease. And now we offer a litany for lament and mourning. The flow of this is a short scripture, a prayer, a response, and the ringing of a bell. Please join me in our litany. Lamentations 1-1. One, one. How lonely sits the city that was full of people. How like a widow has she become, she that was great among the nations. O oh God, creator of the universe, we stand before you as fragile humans, made only of earthly clay and your breath. In all humility, we lift up to you all those who are sick with the coronavirus, who are COVID-19 positive, and all those who care for them and work intimately for their healing. We name the sick and hold them in your healing light, O Lord. Hear our prayer. Matthew 2, 18. A voice is heard in Ramah, weeping in great mourning. Rachel weeping for her children and refusing to be comforted because they are no more. In all humility, we turn to you, O most holy God, today to honor our dead. We have had no time, no space, no moment to mourn. We made promises to love and protect our families till death do us part. In their final days, we are heartbroken that we were apart from those who were dying. May they forgive us. May we forgive ourselves. We claim in faith that we are born from God. We live for God. 
and we return to God. We seek rest and time in you. Hear our prayer. Psalm 88, 18. My companions and neighbors you have put away from me and bidden my friends out of my sight. O oh God, you are the keeper of the book of life, and no one dies alone, but all remain under your loving gaze, so that the passing of people we love are not merely names added to a grim tally. Let us remember that those who have died and to remember them well. Into your hands, O oh Lord, we commend their spirits. Hear our prayer. Romans 12, 15. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Give us the gift of weeping, O God, for tears of love are always holy. It is not only our loved ones who are lost, but our jobs, our neighborhoods, our familiarity with family and graduations and classes. May our mourning Lamenting, remembering, and learning from these losses not disappear like water and sand, but push us to weep from time to time. Keep us tender hearted, we pray. Hear our prayer. Ephesians 4 1 to 2. I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. As we Americans face together this unprecedented season, let love fill all our hearts so that the greatness of our nation continues to break open before us. Draw every American into the values of courage, duty, honorable action, self-sacrifice, generosity, neighborliness, responsibility, and mercy, which are the hallmarks of our country. Give us courage, O Lord. Hear our prayer. Psalm 67, 2. May your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. To those who have lost loved ones, we, your fellow citizens, offer you comfort, not condolence, empathy, not sympathy. As a people, we have borne this pandemic's cost in the lives of our families. As a nation, we shall honor and mourn them together. Let peace and good health prevail among all nations. O oh God, and may it be so in our own families, communities, states, and land on this day and each day to come. These families are your families, O oh Lord. Hear our prayer. Second Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. Jesus knew that we numb ones must always learn again that weeping must be real because endings are real and that weeping permits newness. Christ weeping with us permits the kingdom to come. The Holy Spirit's indwelling, indwelling opens us to envision a new normal, to envision an America true to her dreams, true to our native land to have a new birth of freedom and justice for all. Lord, open our eyes to a new and holy vision that your people may be your people in the days to come. Make us brave, O Lord, together. Hear our prayer. Amen.
yet we can't understand. We cannot grasp how many have died throughout this land. We cannot see their faces or hear the stories told of all the ways they blessed us. been destroyed. We grieve that needed workers must worry for their health, while some with lives of prison.